Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is DC Wrestling back at it again with another video on this Saturday afternoon. I uh, just wanted to let you all know my WWE TLC 2020 predictions will be coming out a week before the show happens. Uh, that's something I've been thinking about doing now with my pay-per-view reviews. I'm doing it a week before the show actually happens, so... That's what I'm thinking about doing, so be on the lookout for that tomorrow afternoon around maybe, you know, noon, 1 o'clock, maybe even 11 o'clock or in the morning, somewhere around that time period. But the reason why I'm making this video today is because I feel like that this is something that, you know, needs to be discussed. It needs to be talked about because I think that the WWE has, you know, fully potential with this. So... Talking Smack happened today. It happened earlier this morning, and they had Big E on the show. Now, if you've been watching Talking Smack for the past two to three weeks, you would know that Paul Heyman, who was the special counsel to Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the universal champion, um, you know, you would know that you know Paul Heyman's been on the. He's been joining Caleb Braxton, helping out with the show, and you know he's been an official part of Talking Smack. And having Paul Heyman being a part of Talking Smack is was a wonderful addition. Um, someone who could really help Caleb Braxton now. And if you follow Paul Heyman throughout his career, you would know that Paul Heyman is one of the greatest promos in wrestling. Like that man can cut a promo because that man knows how to draw you in. If there's a pay-per-view... That man will literally, like, draw you in to buy the pay-per-view just because of the promo he could. That's how good that Paul Heyman is. And today, this past morning on Talking Smack, was no other exception. Because Big E, so he has Big E, obviously, so Big E was on the show. And basically, Heyman tells Big E that... You know, because obviously last night, if you didn't watch Friday Night SmackDown, Big E fought um, Sami Zayn. And looks like this could be a step into Big E, you know, getting a shot at the Intercontinental Championship. Basically, what Heyman was telling Big E, that, dude, this is the Big E that I wanted to see. This is the Big E that everyone has wanted to see. The, the serious Big E that we all know and love. Don't get me wrong now, Big E Langston's a funny guy. Biggie Langston is cool and he's entertaining. He's funny. He is very funny. But that's not going to get you anywhere to the main event. Well, I guess it can. But, you know, with Big E, with the way he's built, it's like, dude, you. in order for you to be in that main event spot, you can't be coming out with, first off, you can't be coming out throwing pancakes. That's why some people couldn't take Kofi Kingston seriously as WWE champion because he was still coming out throwing pancakes and stuff. And then the crazy thing is after Kofi lost the championship to Brock Lesnar like eight to nine seconds, what does he do the next week? The next week, he doesn't be serious. He's not mad. He's upset. He goes right back to being the same old Kofi Kingston that we all knew before he got the big push. And he goes back and he goes back to being in the mid card and he goes on to win the WWE Tag Team Championships with um you know with the with his New Day brethren. Now that the New Day is split, okay, Xavier and you know Kofi are fighting the hurt business a thousand times on Raw each week now. This is the chance. And this is the opportunity that Big E needs in order for Big E to get that shot. For Big E to get that opportunity. I seriously believe, in my personal opinion, if they build Big E up right, and trust me, I think they, they will. To the point that maybe we could see Big E get that WWE Championship title uh, match. Because Big E deserves it. Big E absolutely deserves it. He is a, He's amazing. You know, he, he can have those great matches. He's, he's just got it. But he but what the problem with Big E is, is that he's still relying on the New Day. And that's what Paul Heyman was saying. He told Big E, if you didn't watch the promo I'm talking about, he told Big E that 
the new day is just a footnote to what is the greatest the greatness of Big E. He basically told Big E that the new day basically is gonna put you was going to put you a step forward. And now that the now that the new day is pretty much over now, you can move forward to being that greatness. Paul Heyman looked at Big E like a future Hall of Famer, a future WWE champion, a future top guy of the company. And Biggie, and this is what Heyman said right before the show um, ended, you know, and left Biggie in complete silence. And Biggie couldn't respond, he couldn't say anything. And this was a rhetorical question When was the last time, and this is, this is what Heyman said, when was, you know, something like this, when was the last time you saw Roman Reigns come into. You know, step into a ring and not none of the announcers or the crowd members were mentioning, oh, he has shield gear. Because if you look at Roman Reigns, especially back in the day, he was getting that push. That was one of the main problems that we had with Roman Reigns as a tire. Because when the shield broke up in 2014, Rollins had his own gear. You know, Ambrose had his own gear. Reigns you know, still came out with the same attire and he still came out with the same shield theme music just without the intro with the serial Hotel India Echo Lima Delta, you know, the, the shield intro. He just came out with the bass sound. So that's basically what Biggie, what Heyman is telling Biggie, basically, that, you know, basically just, well, we all saw how Biggie changed his theme, but just get rid of the new, just, just, completely rid of yourself to the new new day and become that Biggie Langston that we all know that he can be. And I think he can be that Biggie. Well, I think he can be that type of person. Now, the reason why I'm saying that and all this and the reason why I'm bringing all this up is because WrestleMania 37 is coming up in a few months. And, you know, obviously Roman Reigns most likely is going to walk into WrestleMania as the Universal Champion. The question now is who's going to be that factor? Who's going to be that opponent that Reigns is going to face at Mania? Now, the WWE wants to do The Rock versus Reigns. I want to see The Rock versus Roman Reigns. But The Rock, you know, knowing how he is, being that Hollywood star, being that Hollywood catalyst, it's like, what are you going to do? And then you had Goldberg, who was on the bump this past week, saying, I'm, I'm coming after Reigns. I'm Reigns, you're next. I want that Universal Championship. And then again, because Goldberg, you know, he lost at Mania and he's never really gotten a Universal Championship title rematch. So, you know, Goldberg is going to be coming back asking for that rematch with Reigns. And that was originally supposed to be the match they were supposed to have at Mania 36 before Reigns dropped out, you know, with the whole COVID-19. Understood and understandable. But a lot of wrestling fans don't want to see Goldberg back in the ring. Goldberg... He's at the point where nobody wants to see him in the ring, you know, like, come on. After what happened at Super Showdown with The Undertaker and then him pretty much uh, in many people's eyes burying The Fiend, nobody wants to see Goldberg back. And then many people have that belief, well, Goldberg's going to come back and he's going to beat Roman Reigns. I don't think he is. So they could only have done Rock versus Reigns, but... Then again, The Rock has a movie schedule. So I just think this could be that storytelling and this could potentially set up Big E versus Reigns. And I know some people want to see The Rock versus Roman Reigns. Like I said, I want to see that too. But if you think about it, Reigns versus Big E could really help Big E and elevate Big E to that big star that we know, that the WWE knows, that Paul Heyman knows. And who knows, man, I wouldn't be surprised if Big E and Reigns is slotting and is penciled in for WrestleMania. Like I said, man, this was a good promo from Heyman. And, um, you know, if you haven't seen it, you know, they're probably going to upload it. it. It's obviously already on the Internet. So if you haven't seen it, go see it. Um, this is a really good promo. And um, uh, I just wanted to get my thoughts on it. So, yeah.